All right, so for the tip, raise, okay? So now we're adding a weight component. This actually is also super helpful because if body weight is too much, then you can actually put one pound on here and now you've regressed it as far back as you could go. So it allows more freedom to change the weight and also to quantify weight and uh, quantify progress. So what you'll need is one of these uh, straps. I, I, like, I like the ratcheting ones. You can go to pretty much any Home Depot or place like that and get a ratcheting strap tie down uh, or something like this. I kind of like the ratcheting ones better because it lets you get tighter um, versus this. This can be a little cumbersome uh, for some people. So, and I would recommend picking up a, a, a pack of these anyway, something on the shorter uh, side, preferably. Usually the thing is they usually come in longer lengths, but if you can find a shorter one, like six feet or less, that's what you want. So basically you just put your weight and then tie yourself down here, get it as tight as you can. And now you'll do one at a side at a time, keeping the knee locked out. This one's, this is obviously a little bit heavy for me. So I would drop down the weight and that would be that. Um, if you can, I would also pick up a tip bar. So you can go online and find tip bars or you can make your own. Uh, it's a useful tool to have, especially since you'll be using it a lot. Um, this is gonna be three sets, 10 to 20 reps. How do you decide to go up or down in weight? A, number one, you could ask me. But B, it's, if you pick a weight and let's say you do uh, 10 or less, you need to go down and wait a little bit. Let's say you do something between 11 and uh, 20. Then you'll stick with that weight until you can complete all three sets with 20 reps, okay? Let's say you can do way more than 20, then the next time you're gonna add a little bit of weight, okay? So that's how we work our progressions in weight on this, okay?